fourth graders, it's Miss Heath here, and I'm so excited to let you know that we are starting our new unit of study in reading. This unit is called Reading the Weather, Reading the World, and our mentor text that we're going to be using a lot throughout this unit is called All About Weather. So we'll be talking about that later on throughout this unit. But today's lesson, we're really focusing on text features. And you might have heard about them a little bit in third grade as well. So today's teaching point is I can learn from my nonfiction texts by using the text features. So just to kind of refresh your mind about what text features are, we'll go over that in one second. So this unit, we're focusing on nonfiction. Nonfiction texts teach us about a topic and the information that we use is real. So whatever we're learning, it's actual real things. So we're not learning about fiction, made up stories. Nonfiction is real factual information. You're going to be reading to learn. So some topics that you might like to read about, things like animals, sports, weather, maybe even countries. In this first bend, in this first of this first second unit, we're going to be exploring different topics. Um, and eventually you're going to be choosing one to do some research on. So here's a list of some different text features that we're going to be learning about today. And things that you want to notice in your nonfiction texts. Why? Because they help us better understand what we're reading. The thing about nonfiction is it's actually really difficult to read sometimes because there's a lot of words, and there's a lot of vocabulary that you might not know, and there's a lot of stuff on each page. There's things like diagrams, headings, charts, graphs, title pages, bullets, indexes, maps. There's so many things to look for. So all these features have uses though, and they have all really helpful different uses. So things like diagrams might show you different parts of um, something that it's teaching you about. So in this one, it's like a little shark and it might be showing you all the different parts of a shark. The headings or the subtitles, they tell us what we're going to be reading about for that page or that section of the article. And then the graphs and charts, they're organized um, to kind of help you read information in a nice clear visual presentation. The title page of your nonfiction book, it tells us readers what the book is all about. So it's like the main topic. And it also should include the author's name and the illustrator's name, the person who did the pictures. Um, there's a lot of bulleted points usually in nonfiction to create lists. The index is usually located in the back of a nonfiction book and it's all in alphabetical order. And it's a list of keywords from the text. Um, and you can use that to go, um, you know, if you maybe want to read about tigers, but specifically about tiger cubs, then you could go to the index and look up cubs and it would tell you what page to go to. Maps are another visual you might see in nonfiction text. It's a picture that shows a place. Bold print is when that um, the word is kind of in like a darker color. Sometimes it's even italicized or that slanty writing. And it's supposed to kind of help you um, draw your eye to it to know that this is an important vocabulary word. And usually those words are located in what we call the glossary. And the glossary is a list of words that might be difficult for you to define on your own. Um, and there, that glossary is usually also located in the back of the book. It's almost like a mini dictionary. Another part of nonfiction features is photographs, so pictures um, that were taken usually in real life, because again, nonfiction is real, so the pictures are typically real pictures. Also, um, a text feature is the table of contents that's usually located at the very beginning of your book, and it tells you about the topics that will be talked about throughout the book, um, and also tells you what page to find it on. And another text feature is captions. So usually your photographs, your pictures might have um, something on the bottom or on the side or above it to tell you where that picture is from, what's happening in that picture. Um, and it just describes what's going on in that, in that photograph. All right, so we're gonna watch a quick little video to tell you a little bit more about text features. 
Let's talk about nonfiction text features. Text features are the things found in nonfiction materials that help you make sense of what you're reading. These text features can also help you decide which pieces of information are the most helpful to you. Titles are usually located at the top of the page or front cover. They tell you what the book, article, or chapter is called. Some books and articles have subtitles. The subtitle gives more information about the title. The beginning of a nonfiction book or article often has a table of contents. The table of contents tells you on what page each chapter or section begins. Nonfiction materials use lots of tools to share information. Charts, graphs, and tables organize data and statistics to make it easier to read. Photographs and illustrations often have captions underneath them. Captions give more information about the picture. A diagram is a simple drawing that shows the parts of something or how it works. Diagrams have labels that tell you what each part is called. Some nonfiction materials have maps. A map shows where something is located. A timeline shows the order of when things happened. Timelines are often used with historical events. Nonfiction materials often use bold and italic letters to draw attention to important words. Bold words are made with dark, heavy lines. Words in italics are slanted. Sometimes the bold and italic words can be found in the glossary at the end of the book. The glossary is like a mini dictionary that gives definitions of the keywords found in the book. The index is usually the very last page of the book or article. It tells you on what pages you can find important information or keywords. Words in the index are listed in alphabetical order. Nonfiction text features are the things found in nonfiction materials that help you make sense of what you read. Let's look at the text features we've learned so far. Title, subtitle, table of contents, chart, graph, table, captions, diagram, labels, map, timeline, bold, italic, glossary, index. Thanks for listening. Let's think about text features in your own nonfiction books, okay? So when you're doing your independent reading today, you really want to now be switching over from fiction to nonfiction. That 30 minutes a day of reading really needs to now be nonfiction for this unit of study. So take a look at your nonfiction book that you're going to be reading today and think about what you're noticing. How is this book different than your fiction books. Because nonfiction definitely looks really different, doesn't it? And think about how do the text features help you read the book? So again, some text features to keep in mind um, that you want to be looking for and thinking about how are they helping you read the book better. So when you go off to do your reading today, to practice, you're going to first do the attached assignment read the text called Wild Wild Weather, and then complete the questions. Pick a nonfiction book to read during this unit for your 30 minutes of independent reading. And then that focus today for your 30 minutes of reading is thinking about how do the text features help you to learn new things. So do your assignment first that's attached to this lesson um, in your Google Classroom read the text and answer the questions, and then jump into your 30 minutes of independent reading. Happy reading.